This race day was full of absolute disaster. Not only big crashes and bad starts, but also bad carts. So without further ado, let's get right in. So the race day started off with a pre-testing session in the morning, followed by a practice session where we're in now, and it started raining, which, um, and I didn't have my wetsuit, which basically means I'm probably going to be wet. But anyway, we're going to go right in. There's tons of droplets on the screen. It wasn't that wet, but it was wet enough for there to be limited grip, so you have to take wet lines. So there wasn't any aquaplaning, nothing, and and because there wasn't any puddles anywhere, I couldn't clear the droplets off my screen. So it's quite annoying that they're on the screen but anyway it was the only wet session of the day and to be honest, I did quite well in the session getting second place overall and um, it did manage to clear up the water and the rain did manage to stop and it started drying out by the end but I couldn't really improve my lap time because of something that happens a bit later on but we'll get to that shortly so we've caught up back to, onto the back of someone here and uh, let's see what we can do we're gonna try and go around we're gonna go almost to, on to the outside of the, uh, the track getting a really late apex trying to get there uh, out the corner but we can't really do it they still get a better run but let's see can we just send it around the outside of this double right left hander yes we do we just put the power down and there we go that's the move done so now we've caught up to someone else ahead so we're going to try and get a really nice uh, uh, switch back through the chicane we kind of go into the back of them there they didn't didn't, didn't get the best run but we're now we're still on the back of them didn't get a better exit there but guess who comes through it's dante dylan obviously he's not he doesn't compete in the cadet championship he's just testing carts and he works for club 100 he's been doing these this club 100 for like a few years now or many years i don't really know so he's obviously known all the tracks and he's very experienced obviously better than me but the one problem is that he he's much heavier so i will be quicker than him on the straights and as we go down the back straight you can see that i gained quite a lot but he gives me the okay sign good job sign don't really know but if you didn't know uh, already uh, he um he hit me not his fault but there's a crash at rye house where he hit me so i'm gonna do the next best thing and send it up the inside um didn't work uh, yeah i tried to send it up the inside to hit the brakes too hard i started spinning but because i got rid of it i don't want to get stuck behind that guy again i'm gonna wait here slow down let some more people through and then try and get a gap for myself so i can do a nice hot lap for the next lap so let's go into my fastest lap of the session here we go so into turn one flat out this left sh left kink to the left and then just tap on the brakes don't really want to hit that curb too much because you will go flying and then get a really late apex into there. You have to go to all the way to the outside. Now, round this left-hander, all flat out. Now, you're supposed to break on the inside, but to be honest, the track there is just so wide that you can just break and pull it around. So, I did that. And now, round here, you can get a really late apex. You just still have to, a little tap or a long lift into that corner. This next corner, next right-hander, would normally be flat out, but you have to make a small lift to get through it nicely. The track has started to dry up, so it will be fine over that curb round here and now round this corner there's tons of curves there that you can use but in the wet especially in the wet but there i didn't really use them there we've managed to catch it up to elliot griggs ahead so down the very dangerous barrier to da um, back straight elliot's going to take a much wider line we take a nice shower line but it's fine because we're on a hot lap and he's probably going to start next next lap but this that this session wasn't always just great so let's just see what happens here and that happened way too quick um yeah that, that was just chaos let's just see what happens so up ahead if you just see someone with the orange helmet they spin out in front we've got nowhere to go and we go straight into the tires barrier the tire barriers go flying and the fact that these are just like sticking out a bit and it just it's just not safe and because of that i kind of just have a massive shunt and that's how the session ended and i ended up finishing second overall but now let's go into the qualifying session qualifying session the probably the most important session of the day uh yes the races are important but if you qualify in the c final there's a hard chance of you getting into the a final so anyway let's just see my fastest lap taking a wider line to get a good exit into the next lap so let's see and into turn one turn two both flat out and then ease onto the brakes you can lock up here and slide don't want to slide at all in that corner it's quite hard to get right down here the track is so wide so just keep all the way to the right hit both apexes 
and then pull out back the back out to the left use the wide line then cut back in for a really late apex and just power it down one of the straights not really the back straight but into this corner turn early it's an off camber flat out right hander quite hard to get right especially if your cart doesn't have the best grip and around here you have to get the cart slowed down but a bit break a bit later than in the wets because um you don't really need to break as early and down the back straight remember not to touch those side barriers because you know what happens break quite late there's like a patch on the road where i use this brake mark you can't really see in the video get on the power just off the apex and there we go that's a lap and this is quite a good lap put me 15th in the a final but uh my fast the fastest lap of the day was actually my pre-test session so the fastest lap of the day was in my first session of the day so that's interesting but anyway we're gonna get the race started what can we do here so we're starting on the inside skipping the first chicane so nobody uh well yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to do the first chicane, but people are going three wide here I decided to take the outside line for some reason, but Anyway, people are gonna go side by side three. I'm gonna take the inside line this time They're going three wide Jeez, three wide into the off camber right-hander never goes well So yeah, and that's James Vow I saw who started on pole position has obviously ended up here um so now I think we're in 7th or 8th, so that is literally 8 or 9 position gained on lap 1. Because I started 15th, and now we're so high up, so that was a good start. If only we could keep going up, or just stay here, because that would be great points. And it would set us up for the final much better, and we could even get a trophy. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen, but let's just see. So, coming out the final corner, for some reason, I, I someone sent it up the inside, and we lose a bunch of time, but that's fine. We can catch it back up, can't we? So, let's just keep going, keep pushing, and see what happens, and into here, Jensen's going to send it up the inside. Sorry, I had to yawn. Um, Jensen's going to send it up the inside. Obviously, he's a much quicker driver than me. He got podium at Wilson Mill in the A final. Uh, well done to him. But let's just see if we can keep up with him. And I realised very quickly that my cart was had literally zero grip i'll fully locking into that right hander and into the long right hander so into here it's fine because it's quite short corners and you can see i'm fine in the mid corner and then down the back straight you can see that he just absolutely pulls away um i don't understand why maybe my car has bad acceleration but you can't always blame it on the cart so might have just had a bad line uh, so we've getting tons into the hairpin he might have made a mistake now into here, we're going to try and get it round. We do, we're do. we fine through here, this corner. Turning left is fine, but I can't... He doesn't get the best line through there. He's making quite a few mistakes, so we're still on the back of him, luckily. But through here, not fully locking again. And then this corner, just absolutely my arch nemesis in this car. It's fine. I like the corner. It's just this car, I had to fully lock into the corner. Cart will not turn, especially into here. You can see that I literally missed the apex by a mile, so... Yes, they sent, some people send up inside, but that's not the only issue. Uh, yeah, my car has zero grip, which is a problem. Someone was using it in pre-testing who decided to use it as drifting instead of racing for some reason. But yeah, that might be a reason why. And okay, so that's just not good. Someone else is going to go up our inside into here. We're obviously using, losing positions. We've lost four since the start. So we're probably down into like 12th, but it's still fine. It's 12th, it's fine. Although I don't understand why they're still pulling away out of every corner. Into the mid corner, we're fine. We're pulling, we're staying with them. But into out of the corner, here I just can't get any grip. I literally missed the apex again. I can't. It's almost impossible. But let's hope we can stick with them and maybe get some more overtakes done. Through here, going wide a bit, can't do much. Trying to avoid going out onto the grass, but we, we aren't doing that. But just not hitting apex as well. Obviously, but let's just see if we can catch back up. They've got a big gap now, so not good. And they've just pulled away even more if they're working together. And I just can't. And here we go. Uh, Jacob Underhill, who's obviously quicker than me, sends it up the inside. He had some issues. He went onto the grass on lap one, which, um, but that's what happens when, he's, when you, you're on the outside. But we're going to try and stay with him. We were working together for a few laps, and then he quickly realised that, yeah, I'm just not that quick. But you can see how much, literally, into one corner, into the chicane, we've caught up to the people ahead because they started battling. So that's good. If they, if everyone starts battling, we can catch up easily. But it's not always going to be like that. And here we go. We, we try. No, everyone defends except us. So we're kind of going to go around the outside. But that's not good. 
um, because someone's ended up our inside because we weren't quite wide. But we do manage to fend them off into the right-hander. But I gave Jacob a nice tap. And yeah, that makes us go onto the grass, which obviously isn't the optimal line, but we do manage to send it back up the inside. Although the next corner, we're on the outside and it is a right-hander. So although we temporarily gain two positions, we still lose them again because Sharpich can't take that corner. And we were on the outside, so we don't have much to do. Into this corner, I turned really early, which I found was the optimal line, but it just made the tires even worse. But that was obviously the line to take into that corner. But we still held our position. We've obviously gone down, I don't know, we're almost back where we started now. We're probably down into 14th, 13th. So not good. And um, obviously, I don't understand how he's pulling away like that. But yeah, th this is just not good. So we've, we like, like Club 100 is a great car. It's just, it's more like a lottery than a race. At least it's not pay to win, like owner karting. Uh, whoever has the best engine normally and the best maintenance normally has the best machinery but it doesn't always mean they win but here it's just much bigger gaps between carts like some carts just have bad acceleration some carts just have bad grip obviously this isn't the club 100's fault with the bad grip because someone was using it to drift but here we go into the back of Jacob who just overtook us and that just loses us so much time so he was going he got caught up uh, behind into the final corner of the chicane and that he, we went into the back of him and we lost another two positions and to make that three if this guy overtakes us again so obviously not good but we're just gonna have to do the best we can we've done the best we can so far we we've lost we're, we're definitely down to like 15th now 14th so we've lost almost all of our positions that we gained which isn't good obviously we had a chance to get even higher up than seventh but obviously things don't go your way all the time you don't get the best car you just don't drive as well but we can make some overtakes there's still a bit of the race left uh, when i mean a bit i mean a few more corners because this is going to be this is the final lap so what can we do here can we lose any more can we gain any more obviously we can't because they've just pulled away but can we lose any more into the final corner is it possible can something happen which makes us lose positions we get hit from behind as this guy just decides to go into us and we lose another few positions and now we're in 16th so we finish the race in 16th and with penalties ahead we finish 14th basically we've net gained one position from where we started um ah not good just just not good and uh but at least we gained a position at least so it could have been worse we could have lost positions from the start but this means if we're starting 14th we're on the dreaded outside especially because the first three corners or one two technically are on the outside this guy starts going very slowly we give him a bump and yes it's going full wide into that corner which although it's really wide it just doesn't work so we do a bit of lawn mowing uh, but can we gain these positions back so we've lost the tons we're, we're almost down into last now so we just we, the, we can't really go any further back but we can go forward so we go around the outside of this person but obviously into the chicane you, i kind of have to back out or else um i'll kind of go straight on so you can't really go side by side through there it's quite narrow into here we're gonna go we're gonna try and get it we get a lovely switch back but then it's either the slipstream or just I'm gonna say it again, a good car, but it's probably the slipstream to be honest, because yeah, I didn't have any, they did, so yeah, we just need to get past them. They're pointing forwards. Let's just see if we can work together. And into this corner, gonna try and get a switch back. Not really gonna work. You can't really get switch back since they're uh, trying to get a later apex, because we can. We, we're definitely losing time now. Uh, because we're kind of getting stuck behind. Although we did lose tons of time there. It's mainly just because we're slow. But we've gained it back. As here we go into this guy. Rear end him. But then we get a bump from behind. Which is good. Because now this is just a, a dominoes pattern. Where he's got, I've gone into him. He's Someone else has gone into me. So someone gets butchered wide. So we're going to get switched back on them. Get a nice uh, overtake. So we're going past one of them. Not both. Um, so that's good. We're going up and not down. Which is just a lovely sight to see. And because if you're not going forwards, you're definitely going to go backwards. Like here, I didn't overtake the people ahead. So this guy, who's very ambitious, to be honest, 
Uh, just gonna, I don't understand. He's just sending it up the inside out of every corner into there. He's just sent it. But he does help us there. We get past the person we were trying to overtake. Here he gets quite a bad run. So we're going to go side by side with him. And now we're going to try and get a switch back. But again, he has the slipstream. I don't. And into the final corner. What can happen here? It's always the dread final corner. Anything can happen here. It's so wide. You can literally go six wide into that final corner. Yeah, I'm not saying it's going to work, but you can. Here we get overtaken again. Oh, it's just not happening well. What's? It's just not good. Uh, we're going to take a much wider line than everyone else. And try and get a much better run. I, I feel like I'm quicker than them. Here's Theo Thomas, who was ahead of us in the pre-final. Who was He was in sixth or something. And now he's down here with me, so I'm not the only one having a bad race, so that's a good that's a good thing to know. It's not only me. But, um, yeah, we've gained a few positions there. But you can see that they've pulled away a bit. I'm just not on the pace. And, yeah, this guy goes a bit on the grass. Can we get past him, though? Uh, he, can we capitalise? No, we can't. He still stays ahead, but I could feel that my cart was just not good. Again, I, I had a faster lap, so I was putting in consistent laps, but I still felt that m my lap times was be were better in the pre-testing and the qualifying than in this race. Yeah, obviously, they might have been better in those sessions because it was in a race, but they were like almost half a second quicker, so obviously something's gone wrong. Um, and throughout the session, I could not get under the 55, so that's not good. But anyway, we're going to try and still go up the, the um, up the order. This guy gets passed again. He's obviously got some luck with the carts. I don't know. I'm going to keep saying that. Is this guy? Oh, my. What? They just overtook two people into one corner. So I don't understand how they've done that. But all I can say is that they pulled away by an absolute mile. These carts are just unbelievably uneven now. I'm just going to say it now. They're just unbelievably uneven there's some which just don't drive and people used to drift and there's some that just the engine just absolute rocket ship here uh, jack thompson sends out an r inside he's a very quick driver but um what happens here he almost pushes us onto the grass and we i didn't realize this before but this we're going three wide into this corner and oh no you can see that there's someone else with him the white helmet yeah, we were going three wide and I had to, I was the one on the outside, so I suffered and ended up going into someone else and on the grass. So my race ended very quickly there and obviously, can I make the gap back? It's like 10 seconds to the carts ahead. I was putting in good laps, but still, even with this, I couldn't get under the 55s. So it just means that I just had a bad cart again, but obviously two races in a row bad car it can happen but it's quite rare but obviously maybe just my luck is bad it's a lottery whatever car you get is the car you have and that's rental karting for you it can't always be even but anyway we're gonna um be this is our pre-testing session where we put the camera backwards like always and sadly this was my last club 100 event of the year maybe we'll have some luck next year which I actually don't know what I'm doing, if I'm doing uh, juniors or cadet lightweights, junior super lights or cadet lightweights, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, this is some footage from pre-testing where we're going to go here side by side into the uh, sh first chicane and it doesn't end out well. I, this is um, this is crash from earlier. But obviously this week, this race day was not the best. I... Although I enjoyed it, I just didn't have the best carts, didn't have the best luck, was, wasn't having the best pace, and obviously uh, with the both races, just did well, then lost all the positions, and it was just all going downwards. So obviously I've had this season went really well. Me, I never lost positions in a race um, until today, so it was due to happen, and it obviously happened in the last race of the season. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.